Somebody, somebody asked on the computer, what's my baby daughter doing? And I wrote, almost crawling, but I wrote, almost crawling. <laughs> <laughs> almost. It was crawling, people, on the computer. <laughs> anyway, our first guest is always a welcome addition to this show. He's ER's Dr. John Carter. One of the reasons Thursday night is still must-see TV. Take a look. I don't think that's really all necessary, doctor. Before, they just gave him antibiotics. It cleared it all up. We need to do a full evaluation. Look, if you're worried about being sued, I'll sign something. Got nothing to do with being sued. So you're gonna poke him and prod him and test him and then thousands of dollars later you'll give him the antibiotics and send him on his way, am I right? Why don't you go back and have a seat while we work on your dad? That would be friggin' believable. Trudy, you, you wanna grab a blood gas kit, show Mr. Newton here to chairs? I can show myself. He's a charmer. When's the last time anyone bathed this guy? From the looks of these bed sores, about the same time they turned him. So much for honor thy father. Please welcome back to the show, Noah Wiley. <laughs> well, hey, how are you? I'm really good. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you too. I'm so concerned for you now that you've lost the Grandma's Trust Fund. I have been cut off. What about that? Can you believe it? First of all, I have a question. Shoot. She cuts off your money, yet she still sends the check to Carol Hathaway? What is that about? I think that was a little dig at me, don't you? She is mean-spirited. Yeah. What you did know. you ever do? Like, it's your fault that your cousin's a drug addict? That's what I say, you know. I, I tried to help him. I helped him through detox. You can't sit with him every 24 hours a day. Exactly. They have to help themselves, people, in that situation. That's exactly true. Give me her number. I'm going to phone her for you. All right. <laughs> I get too involved in the show. Do you have any say, like, when you read... Oh, now I'm gonna lose all the money? Do you have I've any I've been waiting sense? for this day to come. I figured when uh, you start off the show being the rich character, the only place you can go is down. So uh, it would be exciting to play John Carter from a different perspective. But I have another question. Didn't you give all your money back? Say you don't need a salary? Remember when you said yes, that? Yes, so technically I'm not, I'm not making any income at the moment. At I, all? I believe I apply for a loan in the next episode. Really? Yes. So are, is the hospital gonna be able to give you a salary? They're not really. Next year, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> it's SpaghettiOs for Carter, pretty much. A lot much. of mac and cheese. There you go. But it's going to be good for your love interest because she didn't like you because you were rich. But even that's not working out because I, I asked her out in the last episode. She tells me she's got this other guy. A drug addict. A drug addict, Like no your less. cousin. Like, see how it all you comes around? Save. See how comes it's all tormenting you. <laughs> well, it's such an enjoyable show, needless to say. Thank you so much. We, We've actually finished for the season. We finished last Thursday. so uh, That must be exciting. Uh, it's, uh, it was a great year. Great year. I'm excited to go back, but I'm looking forward to having a little time off. And how long do you get off? About two and a half months. That's good. Yeah, it's like a summer, I mean, a school year. You get a summer break. Because I thought on the hour-long dramas that you didn't have that much downtime. No, we do 22 seasons a year. We're back uh, sort of late July, so I get the summer off. Are you going to go on vacation or are you going to work? Uh, I'm doing a little work, maybe do a little vacation as well. Yeah? Yeah. Anywhere specific? Uh, I have no idea yet. No idea yet. No idea. Go visit some family, probably. Yeah. No, you're not going to go with the cast members. Like, I know you went on a vacation with Eric once. No, they're all too busy to travel with me now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the beginning, it was like, Back first year, let's be friends. Now get away from get me. Get away. <laughs> He's got no I'll cash. I'll see you in July. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, we saw each other and in L.A., not only on my show, which in you guys February, were so great yeah. to do, but at the photo shoot for Sesame Street. That's right. That's Wasn't right. that fun to my do? My crowning achievement doing Sesame Street. And you're great on it. Oh, thank I've you. I've seen you on Sesame thank you. Street. But we had a big photo shoot for Vanity Fair, I think it was, with about 50 celebrities, and every single Sesame Street puppet was there. That's true. And Ray Charles and uh, yeah. Jeff Goldblum, some wonderful people were there. And who, who did you get to stand next to Muppet-wise? I was, I think, next to Bert. Next to Bert? I think I was next yeah. to Bert. Yeah. Been behind Cookie Monster. You were trying to get near Snuffy, weren't you? I was you? trying to get near Snuffy. Yeah. He was my favorite. You like Snuffleupagus? Oh, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Snuffy was always my favorite. <laughs> Um, I got a question. How about you as a kid? Did you watch Sesame Street? Look at that cutie Oh, yeah. Patootie. Hey, look at that. Hello. Look at you with the cowboy hat in the pole. What, were you being Huck Finn out in the backyard with I little John Wayne I think that is Wayne actually from, uh, yeah, my cousins and I all used to perform plays for my grandparents that my sister Alex would direct, and I believe that's from the farmer play that we did. No kidding. Yes. So you always had acting aspirations, even as a little boy? I did. I did. We come from a big family of performers. Really? Yeah. I'm the only one that does it professionally, so I can steal all their material and nobody ever finds out. That's so helpful, it isn't out it? Well, yeah. You go to Thanksgiving dinner, somebody says something good. I'm taking down notes. There you go. I'm right there with my notepad. <laughs> now, how's your theater company going? Theater company's going great. We just opened a musical last Friday called Hello Again that your friend Marcia Strassman is in, actually. We did a film together, Marcia. You did, and I. The, another steak. That's right. Yeah, Susan Egan, who played Belle in Beauty and the Beast, and Richard Klein from Three's Company. In fact, uh, 
the cast signed a t-shirt for you. No kidding. And I'd like to present it to you. Well, I would love it. Thank you very much. Where does it open and when? It's uh, playing at our theater, the Second Stage Theater on Santa Monica Boulevard in Los Angeles for probably nine weeks. Well, excellent. If I get out there, I'd love to Please come, come see it. Please I would. come see it. Your friend Penny Marshall came to opening night. Really? What'd she yeah. say? You have no idea, I think she enjoyed right? it. You can't tell. I think she enjoyed it. Oh, no. I like them. Hey, good day. She's tough. Da, 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 da. She's tough to read, yeah. With the song. It was good. I love you. I love you. I have no idea what she's saying. It's horrible. She, when she leaves me a message on the phone, I just have to hit fast forward because... And you know what's the sad thing? I'll hit fast forward for, like, a long time, and I pick the finger up. It's still her. Same time. So, <laughs> I just wanted to say... We don't... Now, tell us about the uh, Heroes campaign that you're involved That's with. really why I'm here in New York, is I've been doing some work with uh, the One Minute Mailox Award, it's called. And this is the second <laughs> annual event. And um, what it is, is it's the philanthropical venture that Mailox has concocted to honor heroes from everyday walks of life who have uh, risen above, beyond the call of duty, and performed a heroic act. Uh, an example of this would be last year's recipient, one of last year's recipients, was a woman named Rosa Steppa, who... Uh, went into a burning car and saved a young man who was trapped underneath a tractor trailer, not once but twice to get him out, with 60 bystanders standing around. She was the only one that, that responded. And uh, In fact, we're lucky enough to have her here with us today, Rosa well, Steppa. Well, stand and up, the young Rosa man that Steppa. she saved, John. And the man she's... Oh, my goodness! What about that? That's a wonderful thing. So what... Now... Do they get scholarships, or what, what is it? I believe it's a, it's a money prize that they... And, but it's really just sort of recognition for the heroic act itself, and hopefully it'll prove to be inspirational to other people who, when faced with a similar circumstance, will respond in a similar fashion. Wow, that's an amazing thing. You guys should be very proud of yourselves, both of you, for... Uh, is there going to be a show, or, or is it... There's going to be an award banquet in September, and I have a telephone number that you can call to nominate someone that you might know who could be eligible for this award, uh, and that number is one uh, six. What is 888 it? 1888 hero. hero Hero There you go <laughs> <laughs> 1-888-686-HERO That's, That's a great thing I read a story in the news about this woman I forget her name who was on the Upper East Side and her townhouse caught fire and she went in and saved her husband and she saved the women and men who worked there and went in to save her friend and she and her friend died oh. So sad if we could nominate her almost posthumously oh. because That would be very nice I read it was so heartbreaking she went back up to get her friend and they said don't and she did and Wow yeah, those stories really uh, get you and move you, and people like you every day, uh, people who do that. That's a great thing, and thanks for being here to talk about it. Oh, my pleasure. Believe me, it's my pleasure. And it's uh, for information, call that phone number. And Noah, you know, you're a cutie patootie. I adore you. So are you. Come back whenever you want. I Noah Wiley. Thank you. We'll be right back.